On Saturday night, 45-year-old Jason Brian Dalton went on a shooting spree, killing six people senselessly and randomly in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Now, authorities have charged Dalton on Monday with six counts of murder, two counts of assault with intent to commit murder, and eight firearms charges. For five hours on Saturday, police say the shooter drove from one target to another, gunning down victims at random. And in between the shootings, he apparently picked up passengers for Uber. Now, before we kind of get into the timeline of all of this, uh, some people have come out saying that they were uh, some of his Uber passengers claiming that he was driving completely erratically, uh, hitting other cars as he drove, running stop signs and things like that. Uh, now, this all started around 5.42 p.m. when he shot a woman in front of her children at an apartment complex parking lot. The woman was struck multiple times but is expected to survive. Uh, four hours later, the gunman killed a father and son at a car dealership, and minutes afterward, he drove to a Cracker Barrel restaurant and opened fire in the parking lot, killing four women and wounding a 14-year-old girl. Now, two of the three shootings uh, have been caught on camera, and details of this is, are still developing, but as far as we know, uh, there's no current connection between the gunman and uh, his victims. And two hours after the final shooting, police arrested Dalton uh, without incident in downtown Kalamazoo, and the judge has denied him bail. Uh, he's, was, sorry, yeah, stuff. currently he's in custody, and uh, apparently he's cooperating with the police investigation. Uh, but obviously this is uh, extremely terrifying and a huge, huge tragedy. His victims age and range from 14 to 74. Yeah, the 14-year-old girl was originally reported as among the dead, and the only good news out of this is that as of last night, first she was actually still alive, and she's still alive now. Mm -hmm. uh, they say holding on, grievously wounded, holding on, but responding to verbal commands. So that could be a, a small... Small silver lining. Small, a great silver lining, but but she's clearly not, not out of the woods in any way. So there's a lot of talk of Uber in regards to this. It, mm. It's definitely strange that obviously... The whole thing is enormously strange, hor horrific, et cetera. That he kept pick picking people up for Uber. The passengers were worried about his erratic driving. They should be thrilled that they weren't one of the victims. I mean, what a lucky break. That, mm. What a horribly unlucky break that you have this guy as your driver. What a lucky break that he chooses not to kill you but kill the other people around. Right? Well, in fact, what's something really interesting, one of the passengers that got into his Uber uh, said that he took an Uber instead of walking because he heard there was a killer on the loose. And mm -hmm. he said, oh, you're not the killer, like joking around with him. And the guy's like, uh, no, I'm not. He's like, you sure? Like joking around. Oops, yeah. Yeah, and, oh. and he's, I mean, he is so, so lucky. Yeah. So, but I don't want people to get distracted by that. Mm. The problem in this story isn't Uber. Right. Okay? He could have been a taxi driver. He could have been Re a random driver driving would, around in his own car. He did want to ban Uber. Yeah, he did pass the background check for Uber, just right. so you guys know. Yeah. Uh, the real problem in this story, as you guys all know, but some of you probably half of you will deny anyway, is guns, right? Mm -hmm. So now, oh, no, guns don't kill people. Yes, they do. Yes, 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 yes. Guns kill people. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to kill things. Deer, very, very, very rarely. And, gu and human beings oftentimes, okay? So now, uh, no, I, uh, mine and guns are safe. And, yeah, okay, I know, you're wonderful. Everybody out there who's got guns are wonderful human beings, except it turns out all the time there's mass shooting after mass shooting because it turns out in a country of over 300 million people, there's a lot of crazy folks. And when you put crazy people plus 300 million guns, between 250 million and 300 million guns in the country, you know what you're going to get? Murder! You're going to get tons and tons of murder. And in terms of what terrorizes us, all this talk in the debates, of ISIS this and ISIS that, there is one shooting that happened recently in San Bernardino. They did not coordinate with ISIS. They said, yeah, I guess, sure, ISIS. But they're fundamentalist Muslims. So ISIS or otherwise, let's, yeah, so, okay, those are radical Muslims, et cetera. Terrible. There was a Fort Hood shooting many, many years ago, et cetera. You can find these. Cases and they're horrible and horrific and yada yada. This happens more than once a day in mm -hmm. America. In 2015, mass shootings, as four people being shot in one incident, happen more than once a day. There's 365 days, obviously, more than 365 shootings. So th this happens everywhere, and we've said it a thousand times, and you, uh, it'll happen in your neck of the woods. It will. Don't get surprised. We're past the days of being surprised. Oh my God, I can't believe it. A guy I knew, somebody I knew either was the victim or was the guy who did it. Yeah, it's gonna be someone you know because it's happening every day all across the country. 
This is the real terrorism. I'm not, it is an enormously small chance that some ideological radical, and here we'll put the right wing radicals in that mix too, the abortion uh, uh, provider killers, etc. It's very unlikely that someone I know is going to get killed in a situation like that, or a Muslim radical, or whoever it is, right? But it's from some random dude shooting it, uh, well, that's much more likely. I'm afraid that my family could get hurt going to a movie theater, going to school, going mm -hmm. to wherever by a random shooter like this because we have decided to arm everyone in the country and you know a certain percentage, is sorry for being un-PC with this term, a certain percentage of people are crazy. And what do we decide as a society? Screw it, give them guns anyway, what could go wrong? This can go wrong. Yeah, that's right. No. Um, and uh, it'll happen again, it may have already happened again. Uh, I'm I'm pleased that this guy is alive. I think every time that you know you hope he'll learn something, right? Mm -hmm. Something about him, about his psyche, about whatever his madness was. He told police that he did take people's lives after he was uh, uh, read his rights and told that he could remain silent. So they got the right guy. Presuming mm -hmm. the police aren't making it up, and uh, you know I don't know whether we learn anything, but we never learn anything when we kill him. So mm -hmm. I guess that's good. Yeah, we, maybe we get some information out of him as to why he did this, how he did it, so that perhaps we could prevent it in the future. Uh, but I know we could prevent it in the future. Right. Much, much, much harder gun control. Okay, a thousand times tighter than what it is now. Instead of I don't know. Oh, look, there's a gun. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it, almost any crazy person in the country right now could at some point go. Oh, look, there's a gun. Hey, it's my aunt's gun. It's my uncle's gun. It's my gun. I went to Walmart. Got and, a gun, and whatever right? it is, unless it's like a long range rifle. I mean. It, it's the handguns look from the moment they were designed they're designed to kill people I mean you can say that they're designed to protect yourself but they're designed to protect yourself by killing people and that's what they're that's what they're there for that's what they do and they do it well